So the reason we didn't finish off the serializer function in the last one um, is because we have to make a new model manager for a comment um, that's gonna actually handle creating a actual comment by the type that it's working with. So the, the content type or the object, right? Because it's, it's definitely different than a normal foreign key um, because we're using this generic foreign key stuff. So I'm gonna go in, in the comment manager and do create by model type. And it's gonna take self model type and slug. So the slug that's related to that model, right? Again, we're going off of slug. This would also be easier if we were going off of ID, but we're not trying for easy here. We're trying for what's gonna work most effectively in building our API. We're gonna do content, user, and then finally parent object equaling to none or parent OBJ equaling to none. Okay, so we're getting these things passed. We have model type, slug, content, user, parent object. So model type, if we get the model type, we need to actually get the same sort of stuff we did with the validation. So this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, um, at least to a degree. So let's copy this right here, bring it back over, and we'll say model QS equals to that. So we're getting the content type again. And really here, now we just wanna say if it exists, then we're gonna be running some stuff. That's pretty much what we wanna do. And then we wanna get the model. So I'll say some, again, we'll do some model equals two. And this is the virtually the same thing we did before, looking back, um, some model. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these things as well. And we'll paste these in here. So some model is the model class, object query set is that. So same sort of stuff. And now we're gonna say if object query set exists and object query set count equals to one. Now we're actually ready to make this happen, right? So we're actually ready to start making the comment from here because we now have the object query ses set as well as uh, that it actually exists. And again, this has to do, this object query set has to do with where the comment's going. So the content object, that's where it's going. It's not the comment itself. So to create an instance of the comment model, we'll do instance equals to self.model and then use the parentheses. So this is creating a common instance now because we're using self because of the model manager. And then now we can do instance.content equals to content. And this content right here is what's being passed and then instance.user equals to user, user being passed, and then instance.content type equals to model QS, right? So the model query set, and then dot first. So this is actually the content type. That's what it's getting. So first of all, it's filtering it by the model name, and then we're gonna see if it exists. And then down here, we're actually getting it and setting it there. And now we wanna set the object ID. So instance.object ID equals to model QS dot first, or excuse me, not model QS, but object QS dot first dot ID. So this again is getting the actual object ID itself. And then we wanna say if parent object, so notice it's saying parent object, not parent ID. We'll say instance.parent equals to parent object. And then finally we'll do instance.save and then we'll return the instance. Otherwise, so if those other L, if statements fail, we're gonna return none. Cool, so this is creating the model by model type or creating an instance by model type. So we wanna use this inside of our serializer, which is what we'll do now is inside of the actual um, save method or create method, this is where we're gonna be doing it. So everything has a create method. We're gonna come in here. Every serializer, you can have a create method in it. So we're gonna do create self validated data. And first of all, we'll do content equals to validated data dot get content. 
user we're going to say is the user itself so we actually don't have the user being passed here so I'm going to leave that out for now um, or actually I'll do user um, and we're going to set our default user here and we'll we'll update the user stuff shortly but we'll do from django.contrib off import get user model and user equals to get user model there we go um, so user dot objects that filter or excuse me let's just say all dot first so this is just getting a standard user we will fix that like I said um, okay so now we've got this we'll say model type equals to self dot model type um, and then we also want to get slug equals to self dot slug so basically we want to get everything that we pass through here so the last thing would be the parent object. So parent object equals to self dot parent object. Do remember we set it to none if it is none, right? If we didn't have one, we definitely set it to none. That's really important. Um, so now we want to create the comment. So we'll say comment equals to comment dot objects dot create um, for or create with what do we call it? Create by create by model type back into our serializers create by model type and we're just going to come through here and say model type equals to model type and we'll just do each one of these comma slug equals to slug user equals to user content equals to content and then finally parent object equals to parent object Okay, um, I'm gonna put it in order because these are actually regular arguments where this is a keyword argument. So let's actually put it in this order. I'll just copy this and paste it in like that. So model type slug content user. And then finally, we're gonna return comment. Okay, so now we have to do some testing here. Um, I do wanna go over this one more time so you know exactly what it is that's going on. Since we designed our comments to be pluggable, that means we can use this comment model anywhere. It's not directly related to a post. It can be used anywhere on our site. So you can use this comment also as just a general, like, hey, submit your comments type of thing. Um, you, can, you can use it in a lot of different ways. So in this case, we have it where it's a generic foreign key. So we're using content type and object ID. So creating this makes a little bit more of a challenge when we come into our serializer. It's not as easy as we've seen with our post. Post was very easy, right? Because it's not using this generic foreign key. Generic foreign keys are very useful, but can be a little bit more difficult to set up. So we have to create our own class that's built off of an initializing function. So create comment serializer is built off of that stuff. Um, and that's what's going on here. It's really just building this function is building this class so we can use this class later. Once we have this class set up and we pass the necessary arguments for the function, then we initialize the class with those arguments. This is important. Initialize the class with those arguments because the comment serializer, another thing is we can actually use user equals to none here. So we can actually pass the user in here where with a normal comment serializer, you can't do that. The request is not valid. Um, so anyways, we've got that. And then you initialize it with all of those things, check some stuff, make sure it's working fine. And then once they submit this data, once it's validated or once it's sent to be validated, like just like a form, we check to make sure that it's a valid content type and a valid slug for that content type. And then finally, we use all that data again to actually create the comment when it comes through. Whew. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff. We are definitely gonna have to test this a few more times to make sure that all of these things are working. I definitely expect you to have to rewatch this and just do it like 10 times before this really sinks in. And it might not even sink in then because this is, this is definitely more advanced, but it is something that was necessary to be done for building this actual comment create view. All right, so in the next one, we'll actually create the view and then we'll start running some tests. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.